Hey there, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how we paste without formatting and why might we want to do that. Okay, um, well first of all let me show you what happens when you copy and paste from one source uh, to another. Um, well, I'm as an example, I'm going to go over to Google Chrome, I'm going to go to my friend Paul Federici's website, and here's his biography, and let's say I'm working with Paul, and I want to copy his biography, um, let's say I'm making a one sheet for him, or something like that, uh, and I want to copy this information, okay, cool, so it's on his website, that's no problem, I can just select all of this, I'm going to, I'm on a Mac, so I can do Command C uh, to copy all of that, if you're on a PC, you would just do Control C, uh, why don't I switch over to my LibreOffice here, I've got a document here, I'll move that out of the way. Okay, I've got an, a fresh document here, and if I just paste into here, okay, um, I'll do this manually. I'll go under Edit, Paste. Okay, if I paste, what's going to happen? Well, let's see what happens. I hit Paste, and okay, that's fine, except that this is actually going to require a little bit of work for me to get this to look good. What's happening here is that everything's in different fonts. This is a 6.4 font size for some reason, and here it's a 9 font size, and this is a different um, a different uh, font than this. And then we even see, if we, we hone in here, if we just kind of zoom in, we'll see that it even adds in these like gray boxes here. By the way, this will happen. Similar things to this will happen whether you're using Word or, 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 or any other um, text uh, text editor, um, like a, or, te or so I should say like an actual word processor. Um, it tries to imitate the formatting as best it can, but it's not perfect. And I don't actually really want this to happen. I want to be able to format this myself. And this is going to be a whole lot of work for me to, you know, I could select all, but then I'm going to have to delete those those gray boxes and, and this image. I don't, I don't, I might not want it there, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, fine. Well, there is an easier way to do this. So why don't I undo this? I'm going to go Command Z to undo. There we go. We're back to just a plain document, and uh, let's see what we can do. This is where Paste Without Formatting comes in really, really handy. We'll go back to Chrome. Let's go back to this biography page. We already still have this set up. Um, it's still selected. I'm still going to do Command C. Okay, it's the same command. Okay, or Control C, or you know, you can do it manually. Go Edit, Copy if you want to. Okay. Um, now. Here's the thing. Let's go ahead and where did I switch? There we go. LibreOffice. Okay. Um, all you need to do is add shift. Okay. Paste without formatting is just the same shortcuts except you add shift. And this works in both Mac and PC. Okay. If I want to paste, normally the key command for pasting would be command V. Or if you're on a PC, it would be control V. All you need to do instead is command shift V. There we go, and then you get this little document, depending on what what uh, application you're in. In this case, it says, oh, this is a paste special command. What do you want? Yes, I want it in unformatted text, please, not HTML. We'll go ahead and click OK, and there we go. There's all the information um, with no formatting whatsoever so that you can format it the, exactly the way you want. And you might be thinking, oh, big deal. I mean, I'm not that picky about formatting. When does this matter? This makes a huge difference when you're pasting, uh, particularly when you're transferring data. If you've ever tried to cut and paste data from a source into, say, a spreadsheet or a database or something, and you've noticed that all the information you're pasting is, you know, being formatted weirdly because you're copying all the formats over from your source, the Command Shift V shortcut is a lifesaver. So get used to that Command Shift V. It's actually really, really handy. I use it all the time, particularly going back and forth between um, sources and spreadsheets and things like that. So there you go. Pretty simple, eh? Just add Shift, Command Shift V if you're on a Mac, or Control Shift V if you're on a PC. And that is how you paste without formatting. Good to know. Okay, well, I hope that that's helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.